guys, welcome to Ploy and Family Channels. And today, you're with me, Ploy, and I'm here going to talk about the last day of primary school for me forever. <laughs> and yeah, it's been really sad, as you know, because you have to leave your school. That like you've been a lot like. You work at that school. You go to that school like every day in the week. Uh, mm -hmm. So yeah, you know when I I was start at QQ school so in New Zealand so in two thousand sixteen. When I was year five, I have a lot of good friends. They all take care of me when I was like in trouble with the language. Cause you know, in uh, when I was just start school, I don't actually know English much. I only speak like a tiny, tiny bit. And my friend like they helping me with my working. They help me work. They tell they don't like they don't do it for me. They just tell me what to do. And if I can't understand it, they explain it for me. And yeah, I, they play with me at lunchtime with me. They sit and eat with me. What do you hate this? And my teacher, she's really nice and kind. She's helping me when I can't understand stuff. Like, yeah, she's just a really good teacher. Teacher, she is really nice. Like, when we got... When we did stuff like nice stuff, good stuff, um, she will give us some treat or some point. Like, yeah, this paper is really fun to be in those class for the rest of the those year. This like this is my last year and it's like my fourth year. I play sport at lunchtime. I enjoyed all those fun time with my friends. Like, Oh my god, it's really fun. I don't really want to leave, but you know, it's the end, so you have to leave. Um, this is the second, I'm going to talk about the second to last day of school. Um, on the second of the last day of school, at 9am, when the school started, everyone was like so quiet, because we all like so sad to leave, like, everyone just like, and do their own work um at 9 a.m is when the school start like the bell ring and yeah we've just been packing up the class like getting ready for so and getting ready for the celebration assembly and yeah people the other people just like literally don't talk some of them just like do their own work like Oh god. Uh, and then at 10 a.m., me and a group of people from our school went to Betty Home, um, in Odorahunga to, um, sing for the old people that go there. Like, we sing Eight of the Christmas song. It was, like, so fun. I really enjoyed there. And, um, I, when we sing, they look so happy, like, like here you can see they're smiling. That's just the like, best thing, to see their smile. And this is the last, last day of school. Um, th this is the only day for the year 8, 7 and 8. Um, because it's the all the year 8 last year, like, last day forever of primary school. And our teacher splitting us to help the other um teacher from the other class to clean up their room and then yeah we have all the teachers cleaning up and um we after we finished we went back to class um and to our own class and then the teacher gave us some treat and then after that we like sit there and talking around and just like hanging out after that, we had a swim for like all the people from year seven and eight. We had like, a swim. Also, um, we also have a like birth surprise birthday party for Grace and Charlotte. Their fourteenth, thirteenth birthday party. And we have like some pizza. We have some lollies. We have some cake, some drink, and we went to have a pool party and play some game. Oh, you know, if one people cry, 
they're just gonna make like the whole whole group of people cry like so everyone just like make themselves to not cry but me when I was sitting there like when I heard um, the year 8 to come up it's still leave a shoe um, leave a gift and then I was like my tear was like up here I was like mm, what should I do and then my friend just like so what I don't so I just oh, okay okay I want and yeah it's a good time what and then I've we got one hour left um of the school primary school and then um I asked everyone if they want to play soccer then no yeah everyone said okay let's go play our last game of soccer then we went in our f soccer field and we have a kick of soccer ball and then yeah last minute some of the parents come um come and pick up their child and went home and saying goodbye oh my gosh that was a sad time it was really sad to say goodbye to your best friend your classmate your teachers oh yeah it was really sad on the last day that you had to say goodbye to everyone and yeah, you know, you don't get to go to the same school at all because it's only like, in my class we have like 28 kids, people, not, um, kids in my class and there's like the whole class, the whole year 8 going to like Tiamoto College but only me and one of our, my classmates going to Odorohanga and that's why it's so sad for me because, you know, I was the only one going to Odo and all my best friend going to Tiamoto. But I can still text them and stuff, so. But it's really sad, you know, you don't get to assist everyone, like, every day. You have to meet a new friend. That's not really sad, but, yeah. And it's sad to say goodbye to everyone. And it's so sad to leave the school. When my mum come pick me up, I was like, look at my school, like, it's my last day to see you. I really, I just gonna want to say that at QQ school, I've been really, really, really enjoyed the rest of the time at QQ school. Thank you all the teachers that been like helping me be kind and caring. Thank you for all my friend and thank you for cl my classmate for being a good friend and good class classmate. I hope you guys enjoyed your 2020 at your new school. I hope you guys got given the best role and you know what I'm talking about if you guys watching me right now. Yeah, have a Merry Christmas, keep safe and Happy New Year. Bye. And please don't forget to subscribe for us and put a thumbs up. See you next video. Bye.